Hi guys, it's Mikey from Inside Fullerton. Today I visited Love Collective. It is a local queer-owned, lesbian-owned coffee shop in Huntington Beach. As you can see, I got my matcha. But yeah, it's very cute. And I found this shop through a resource called everythingisqueer.com. It's basically like a global map of like LGBT-owned businesses all over the world. So for this Pride Month, you guys should definitely check that website out. Um, and yeah, let's go see what Love Collective has to offer. Yeah, so my name's Micah. Um, this is my business. It's called Love Collective. We are here in Huntington Beach. If you're familiar with Huntington, we're on the Sunset Beach side. And we started this business essentially because we wanted to be positive representation of LGBTQ people in a city that we knew wasn't affirming. Um, so my business partner and I, Sam, decided that we wanted a safe and inclusive space. We wanted it to be centered around a business that was naturally welcoming and we wanted it to be in a non-affirming area which I think was an interesting decision in hindsight but now we're here and we are trying to be by the community and for the community here in Huntington. To me pride is just as simple as just honoring and being proud to still be here. I think having endured a lot of non-affirming treatments, having endured just a lot of trauma, frankly, around my identities. I think being here is proud enough, and I think I am so honored to have my partner in this space. I'm so honored to watch other queer folk gather in this space, and I think for me, just watching safety and inclusivity and things like that bloom here makes me so proud to be a part of it that I can't imagine not doing that. Safety for us is not something that's ever guaranteed. Um, obviously, we have it a little bit better being in California, but as you look at other places in the country, you're constantly reminded that we're not safe everywhere we go. And so for me, I think honing in on that safety, honing in on that inclusivity, and being a part of creating positive spaces of community could really be life altering. We deal with a lot here. I think at the end of the day, when the city makes ordinances like not flying the flag, it gives permission to other people in this city to leave us really hateful comments on Instagram, really hateful reviews on Yelp that have nothing to do with the coffee. Um, and it just creates space for hate that we deal with every single day. I know that you know so many LGBTQ youth struggle with mental health, struggle with suicidality, struggle with things that a lot of times the larger society doesn't even seem to be aware of. And so if we're able to create safe and positive spaces, we can do our part in addressing some of those issues. What is something that people always get? A bestseller. A best seller. Well, the drip is the best, you know, the bikers will come in, they'll get drip. What is the gayest drink? Well, I feel like as soon as you order the iso lavender latte, like that is it. Like, we know. Like, if a gay person comes in and doesn't order, like, any variation of, like, an ice drink with oat milk, if a gay person comes in and doesn't order that, I'm like, what is going on here? Like, <laughs> So we roast all our coffee in-house, which basically means the stuff is fresh and it's good. It tastes good, it's super fresh, it's not gonna feel stale or burnt or anything like that. So any coffee-specific drink I would recommend. We have events every month for queer people. We have a queer story night that's open mic where queer people can come in and share really anything they'd like to about what's going on in their life and know that they'll be affirmed. We're trying to create a Pride Month drink that I'm super excited about about that I think is going to end up being like a cereal milk latte out of Fruity Pebbles. If you know, you know. We're going to have a Pride Month coffee bag that we're collabing with our friends at Wood Coffee in Long Beach on. Um, and we're going to pop up some other events with other queer brands that we think, you know, just highlight our identities and who we are. So all June is going to be a party. If you're here, you'll know it's Pride Month every day. Okay, so what did you guys get? I just got an oat milk latte. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got a mocha. A mocha. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you get a mocha? <laughs> yeah, mochas are my go-to. How's this? Sound? It's pretty good. Okay, it's pretty awesome. good. Thank you guys. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Okay, so I got a jalapeno cheddar bagel, and it's really good. I would really recommend, but I also got an iced matcha latte, and I love me some matcha. Um, a lot of people hate on Starbucks matcha, but I feel like it's pretty good. People say it's like grassy milk, but I think it's that in the best way possible. 
in the best way possible. I would really recommend you guys to check out Love Collective in Huntington Beach. It was so fun meeting the owner, Micah. But yeah, that's it. Happy Pride Month, you guys.